anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own. So Joe, we have arrived at our final order of business, the UFC middleweight championship fight as the champ makes his walk to the octagon brimming with confidence. And why not, given the way his last title defense went, we'll see if he can come through with another one here tonight against a challenger and number one contender, Martel the Tate, for this middleweight championship fight. Both fighters are 25 years old. Some differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffett. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. UFC middleweight championship is on the line. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Damaging strike there. He got tagged there. Well, he continues to find his timing here. Series of strikes, they all land. Right hand over the top. Well, he established the jab early and going right back to the well here. Another one gets through to the head. Big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Nice straight left and a right hand behind back it. Back and forth we go. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Try to establish that jab. That one hurt. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern to be vulnerable to that count. That strike will count. Good defense to block, though. That cut has really opened up now, Joe. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Oh, he is throwing that, him right that right with fight-ending intentions. Snap off these jabs. Good way to keep his opponent at distance. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Caught him with a punch. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. He's doing a great job blocking these shots. And there he's Right hand. Oh, he has mastered the range here, timing his shots nicely. Oh! Well, there's a swing and a miss. His cardio is really abandoning him at this stage of the fight, and sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even further. So let's see if he can preserve some stamina and try to figure out a way to get back in this fight. Landed that one. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. He's doing a real good job of landing those punches. Oh, that was a big left hand he connected with. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. So a strong five minutes down. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. Incredible striking on display in that round. Jenny Andrade to get us going. Ready to fight. Ready. Ready. All right, round two. This is going to become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent going to be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's going to win, but what's his opponent going to be able to do to him. Oh! He hit him! He's in big, big trouble. The left hook hits home. Oh, nice right hand. He hurt him. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Wow. And that's going to do it. Brutal ground and pound for the KO. 
Yeah, Joe, the finish comes courtesy of some outstanding ground and pound, and it's one thing to try to score when you have your opponent in a compromised position on the ground. It's another thing to try to end the fight, and that's exactly what he was trying to do here tonight. Elbows and punches and hammer fists, one weapon after. Here once more, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Knockout and still.